Alright guys, <clears throat> this is a little trick that I do for cutting the tack strip on the steps. If you look at the tack strip, there all the pins go the same direction. And if you actually line those up on a straight surface, I normally use a wall, but the toolbox tray works just fine. Make sure all your pins are going the same direction and that they're tight up against the flat surface and all your nails will literally line up. This will make it simple for when you go to cut the steps. You don't have to measure each individual piece. You can just stick those there. Measure the steps. They were 35 and 3 quarters. So what I'll do here is I'll butt that and then I can just cut 35 and 3 quarters which is on the other side of this nail and I can just snip these off fairly simple I don't gotta play guessing games for each little piece Now they're all cut, ready to go on. Alright, now that all the tack strips are cut, you can put those on each individual step. Make sure that the tack strips point towards the back of the step. This way when you strip the carpet up, it actually grabs a hold and holds the carpet. This one here, we just got to cut a little bit off. Now when you, stay, when you put these on, I go a little loose on a fingertip, keep it a little bit back. It'll just make it a little easier to crease the steps. We're going to cut the padding for the steps. What we use for that is we use a, the six foot straight edge. It goes along the six foot way of the padding and you're basically just cutting little strips off of it. The steps are 36. So we're going to measure out 36. There's 36 over here. Double check to make sure the straight edge didn't move at all on you. And then you're just basically scoring the top edge of the pad. You're not trying to cut through the bottom. And 
you'll just want to repeat that process until you have enough padding for the steps. Normally takes three pieces in order to do a flight of 13 steps. the tack strip, a couple of staples along the top, you want to staple the middle of the step and then you cut right below that. And then rinse and repeat for 12, 12 more steps. steps the next thing to do is cut the carpet for the steps we're going to use the same concept we did for the padding and we're going to use a six foot straight edge to run a piece off of this here for the steps
once you have the carpet ran off for the steps, you want to figure out which way the smooth is going, and then you want to roll it up from starting at the smooth, going towards the smooth side. The reason for that is when you unroll this down the steps, it'll keep the rough going down the steps, so it kind of acts as a break. And she's basically ready. All right, we're gonna start putting the carpet on the steps. You always want to make sure you, the direction of the carpet, you want the smooth to go up and you want the rough to go down. This way it acts as a break as you're coming down the steps. What we're going to do is we're going to attach this underneath the step down here underneath. Make sure it touches all the way against the wall. And then make sure you're even with the floor. And then you're going to stick a staple every one inch. You want to wiggle the head a little bit. But this way it separates the nap root. That gets you over across there. And then we're going to little slice mark so we can get around that wall. Shut this door for a second. We'll keep this one so we can get around that wall a little bit. It should just tuck right underneath that door. Figure out how far you want to be back in those little cubby spots. carpet here all lined up ready to start kicking on and you just start in the middle and then you work towards your outside edges give it one nice little boot and just keep trying to work those bubbles out going towards the outside edge now everything's tight take your stair tool start in the center boot it down Creates one nice little nice solid edge.
you're folding this edge over, you or when you're doing the custom edge, you want to fold this edge over underneath. Put that in underneath there. And then it, you staple it right along the edge. And then the step, you want to measure that, how far in there. Slice across the top of the step, like right there. Along the bottom of the step. Tuck that edge in. Cut that off a little tighter. And then this should just fold down underneath. Staple your edges so it all hides that those cut edges. And that's one step for you. All right, we got the one step done. The next part is, is take that roll that you cut off earlier. Start at the very top. Let it roll down. Push all that down, make it to where it's tight. Stir pull it in there as best as you can. Create that nice, clean, smooth edge. Now the step is attached. Now we're just going to do one step at a time till we get to the very top. And push that down. Boot it on. Start in the middle and work towards your outside edge. Start to it down into the crease to create that nice clean finished look. Staple the corner, then you want to stir and pull it back in there, and rinse and repeat until you're at the very top.
this last run of carpet right here, the next thing you want to do is bring down your next piece of carpet. And if it's not straight, you can always run it a, a, a tiny bit long, stair tool it in. And then you can cut, just cut that straight. And then that will start your next step. Stair tool that in there. Staple about every one inch. Make sure you wiggle the stapler so that the staple marks hide. Start in the middle, work towards your outside edges. Stair to it, starting in the middle, working towards your outside edges. tool that is just to kind of set the staples a little farther. That's how you install steps.